you know that people will always have something to say, whether it's positive, whether it's negative, good or bad. So you know that their opinion has absolutely nothing to do with you and it most certainly does not define you. You now value yourself, you value your worth and you value your time. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome back if you're already part of the tribe. Today we're going to talk about how to know you have grown. You know you have grown when you have started to voice your emotions, your opinions, without the fear of others not agreeing with you, of being left alone, of absolutely anything. Fear is what stops you when you want to voice your opinion, when you want to stop someone from doing something that's not right, when you want to not be part of something that you know deep down is not okay. Instead of silencing yourself and going along with what others are doing, you staying true to yourself. Voicing what doesn't work for you, what doesn't sit well with you, is the ultimate form of self-respect because you're telling others that you're fully aware of yourself and you have no intentions to do anything that doesn't sit well with you. Or you have no intention of doing anything that doesn't align with your values and your beliefs. So you've learned to voice your opinions, your emotions, anything and everything that's bothering you that doesn't sit well with you, as well as knowing when to ask for help. There's absolutely nothing wrong with asking for help. We all can use some help at some point in our lives. There's nothing wrong with that. Knowing when it's time to ask for help can make all the difference. I will say, who you choose to go to for help will dictate the kind of help you receive. Okay? So make sure that you know who you're going to. Someone that can understand you, someone who knows professionally what it is that you need, or someone who has been where you are right now. Someone that has no idea where you're at in life or has any idea of what you may be feeling will not know what to tell you and may not be able to give you the help that you need. Another way to know that you have grown is that now you realize that you have stopped making excuses for why other people mistreat you. You have learned that some people cannot be who you want them to be. Therefore, you have stopped trying to force unhealthy relationships. You have stopped trying to force and fix things that are not meant to be fixed and are, are not meant to work. You now value yourself, you value your worth, and you value your time. Because you know that if you continue to make excuses for those people, then you are telling them without telling them that their presence in your life and having them in your life, it's more important than your self-esteem and your mental health. Your self-esteem and your mental health will continue to hurt if they continue to hurt you. You know you have grown when people's unsolicited opinion of you stopped impacting you and the way you view yourself. You know that people will always have something to say, whether it's positive, whether it's negative, good or bad, uplifting or belittling, positive or negative, it doesn't even matter sometimes. People talk to feel better about themselves, to feel better about their lives. When they have a chance to pinpoint anything and everything that they think is not okay or is not normal or someone should not be doing, then they feel better about themselves because they point out someone else's trash, someone else's downfall, someone else's um, disappointment or embarrassed moment, you know, like things that we're not normally proud to talk about, you know? They want to they wanna pinpoint it out. They want to gossip about it. They want to tell everybody because it makes them feel better about themselves. So, you know that their opinion has absolutely nothing to do with you and it most certainly does not define you. You know you have grown when you trust your own judgment. This one is such a big one. Self-trust is truly the ultimate form of self-growth. It shows just how much aware of yourself you truly are and how much you believe and trust in yourself, in your opinion, and your judgment. Because it takes a level of awareness to feel that confident in you, to believe and trust your own judgment and your own 
feeling and you know your that gut feeling that you get and those thoughts that you get on your very own you know without having to have someone else back you up for it this proves that you have grown from your younger days how often do we not want to be liked by others when we're in school when we're young much much younger you know like elementary high, junior high school even sometimes high school where you just want to be liked right you want to be cool and in order for you to be cool you have to be seem cool right and how do you seem cool by getting others approval being seen as cool by them right so you're being judged by others when you all grow wanting to seem cool you no longer rely on others to want to view you as cool or define you as being cool because it no longer matters right what matters is how you view yourself and how you feel about yourself and what are your beliefs of yourself. Now you know that you do what you want to do based on your own feelings and based on your own beliefs. And this applies in any part of your life, whether it's at home, with your parents, with your partner, with your friends, family, at your workplace. You know, you know you have grown when you trust your own self judgment last but certainly not least you know you have grown when you know the importance of taking care of yourself you know that you are the most precious and most valuable thing in your life because you cannot give your very best to those loved ones to those around you if you're not doing good yourself you also know to take care of yourself not just yourself right not just your body and not just your mind you need both your mind and your body both need your undivided attention for you to love and to nurture you also know not to do absolutely anything that goes against your beliefs and your values you also know that in order for you to take care of yourself you cannot should not do anything that goes against what you stand for and what you believe to take care of yourself, you must remain true to yourself. That's really, it's like an umbrella. You know, it all falls under the same thing. Staying true to yourself, believing in yourself. That is all for this video. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I appreciate you and I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for all the support. If you like this video, then don't forget to share. Share with anybody and anyone that you find that this video will be valuable to okay and don't forget to like it if you like this video then give me a big thumbs up and show me that you actually liked it comment down below let me know your thoughts while you were watching this video if you're not already part of the tribe then don't forget to subscribe and i hope i see you in my next one bye